Welcome to Game Founder Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at No Thanks. No Thanks is a pseudo auction pressure luck card game. Let's jump right in with the description of the rules, see if the example turns to be in play, then I'll be back for some closing remarks. This is No Thanks setup for a three player game to set up. You just give each player 11 chips, which they can actually keep hidden from the other players during the game. Then you shuffle the deck and you remove nine cards from it without looking at them. They're going to be out of the game, and the rest just forms a face down stack. You're going to flip one card face up, and you're ready to begin. Players take turns in clockwise order, and on a player's turn, he either takes the face up card and puts it in front of him, or he puts a chip on it. If you choose to put a chip on it, it's going to be the next player's turn and he's faced with the same decision. He either takes the card and all chips on it, or puts another chip on it. It goes around clockwise until somebody takes that card. Once a player takes the card, he puts it in front of him, takes the chips on it, and then flips up a new card. And the player who just took the card has the same decision to make with the new card. So he's either going to put a chip on this one, or take it. Play continues until all cards in the deck have been taken. At this point, the game ends, and scores are calculated by adding up the value of all single cards in the lowest in unbroken sequences. So for example, if this guy had these cards in front of him, um, like so, it would actually be 17 plus 24 plus 27, because 27 and 28 are consecutive numbers. So he only adds the value of the lowest number in that set. If he had 26, 27, 28, for instance, he would only add that 26. So it would be 17 plus 24 plus 26. After you sum up your numbers, you subtract the number of chips you still have, and then whoever has the lowest score wins. Let's get going with this example playthrough. So this guy over here is going to go first, and he decides he's going to put a chip on that. This guy's going to put a chip as well. This guy says, you know what, I'm just going to take the six. So he takes the two chips, and the six card is now in front of him and he flips a new card and he has the same decision to make he decides to put a chip on this card as does this guy as does this guy and he decides he's going to put another chip it goes around until somebody takes this card we'll jump back a little bit later in the game so you can see some more interesting situations welcome back to get near the end of the game it's this guy's turn because he just took the last card and this is a 16 so he doesn't really want that so he's going to put this on it unfortunately this guy has no chips left so he has to take it but that's okay for him because he's connected the 15 16 and 17 so now we flip up the card and this is the last card so this is essentially the last round of the game and this guy goes first he definitely doesn't want the 29 he puts a chip on it and uh, this guy's turn he's gonna put a chip as well and this guy is pretty sure that guy's out of chips from what just happened so he's going to take this and add it to his group now the game is over because all cards have been taken so players total their score to total their scores players add up the lowest value in each consecutive set so we, for instance here this guy has 24 25 26 27 28 and 29 so he has to add 24 to 33 and then he subtracts the number of chips he has left which is nine chips so 24 plus 33 minus nine and then whoever has the lowest score is going to be the winner i really enjoy no thanks for as simple as the game is the rules and just the play itself some of the decisions are really tough because you remove some cards at the beginning of the game you don't know everything that's in there so it makes it a little harder because you don't know what things are available to connect things like if you have a 14 and there's a 16 showing you don't know if there's even a 15 in the deck to uh, get rid of that 16 from your score so it makes the decisions tense and you don't necessarily know how many times it's going to go around the table and as it starts to get a lot of tokens on it you know some of those things you really want to take them but it's really a lot of points to you and it's great that the game is really portable you can basically take it anywhere and teach it to anybody in a few seconds so uh, it's one I strongly recommend for families. It's just a real easy, neat, fun game. That's no thanks.